Good morning, Delavan Christian Reformed Church. Here we are again on this Sunday morning, this Lord's Day, to worship our God in an online and a distant format. I pray you are doing well. I pray that life is going well and that you are continuing to find the beauty of the Lord in all of this. Because even though we can't be together, God's glory and his beauty and his grace are on display. So I, I hope you're doing well. I pray you're doing well. And I, I'm yearning more and more for the day when we can get back together, when we can see each other face to face. And I hope you are too. I, I miss you all. And I, I love you all. And I miss you. And I really look forward to seeing you again. Um, as, as usual with our services, we sent out a home worship guide. And I hope you can make use of that. Uh, again, there's prayer uh, items in there that you don't have to cover that whole list. Those are just suggestions for you to help guide your prayer time. So look to those. And also I encourage you again with the sermon discussion questions. Take the time to reflect on those if you're doing this by yourself. Uh, or if you're with your family, please take the time. It's something, you know, we as families, I think we don't do very well. I wonder sometimes, for you as parents, I haven't had a lot of conversations with you in the past, but I wonder how much time we spend as families talking about the Word, reading the Word together, discussing it, asking questions of it. And I hope, I, I hope you're taking the opportunity to do that now, because that is one opportunity that the Lord has given us in this time of COVID-19. So please, please, families, make use of this. Spend time with your kids talking about these stories, talking about these passages, discussing it together. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. None of us is perfect. None of us knows all the answers. But just discuss it together. Pray that the Lord guides you. Please, I encourage you to do so. Um, also, again, just to announce that if you know of anyone that's in need or if you are in need yourself in one way or another, please let us know. Please reach out to us. We want to help people in whatever way possible that is during this time, but even going forward on into the future. So if you are in need, if you know of someone else in need, please let us know. Contact myself, contact the deacons. The deacons could be your first contact. Uh, contact Chrissy, uh, our, our office email, our phone number here at church. And please, please reach out. Uh, and with, it, with that as well, for those of you, I encourage you to continue giving. Uh, there's been some, some checks and some money coming in, and we thank you for that because we do have ministry to continue doing and continue supporting. And so we thank you for those gifts and encourage you to keep giving those. There is an online, um, online giving that is set up. Uh, we can maybe send that link out again and communicate that even more to you, but that is set up. Um, and you can still mail your checks or your envelopes to the church here at 850 Oak Street, uh, Delavan, Wisconsin. Um, something to think about and pray about with these stimulus checks, stimulus money that is going out. My wife and I discussed it a little bit. We haven't dug into it too, too deeply. I hope that you will discuss the best course of action for that money. If you need it, absolutely use it. That's what it's for, is for you to, to, to use, to rely on. For those of you, uh, including myself, that are doing fine financially, I encourage you to really pray through and think through the use of that money. Not in a consumerist way of what can I buy for myself, but how can I use this for God and for his kingdom? And I'm just going to leave it at that for you to pray through and, and discuss with your own family. I'm not going to make any suggestions within that, but I just want to bring that up for you to think about. So pray about it. Think about it. And as what came out this week, we have uh, another month 
here in Wisconsin with the, the most recent mandate of this safer at home. I don't know how that hit you, if that really destroyed your spirits, um, if it made you angry, if it made you frustrated, if it made you question, how, how are we going to get through this? How are we going to survive? What are the outcomes of this going to be? I don't know exactly how that hit you. But the Lord does. And so as we come to this service this morning, bring that to God. Bring that, don't, don't hide it away. Don't tuck it underneath this blanket of, of protected emotions. Bring that to the Lord. Open your heart to the Lord. If there is a struggle, bring that to the Lord. If there are some negative thoughts, some anger, bring that to the Lord. And we bring all those things to the Lord. I invite you into God's presence as we worship him on this Sunday morning. Receive his greeting. People of God, grace, mercy, and peace be yours in abundance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.